Hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM 2 with Terry. Last time we rescued Mox, and uh, it was a bit of a stealth mission, but um, you know, small mistakes were made, so... <laughs> to nobody's great surprise, things didn't quite work out as I wanted them to be. But uh, we got out there in the end, uh, we did get one of our soldiers wounded unfortunately, but... Um, we managed to get Mox out, so that's all that counts, I think, in the end, doesn't it? Right, and we had a lot of missions that we still needed to do. There was that strange signal from uh, from Shen's father, good old Dr. Shen, from the first game, who we think is dead, but um, I don't know. So right now I'm suspecting that it's a trap, that the aliens may have, I don't know, reanimated his corpse or something to, to lure us in. So we're going to have to be careful of that. What else have we got going on? Uh, we're out of power, but we still have one more contract that we can make. Uh, although I think we haven't even finished the other contract. But first the game wants me to go into the armory, probably to welcome Mox back. So let's do that. Um, okay. Right, so we've got... Uh, uh, where is he? Did, did we get Mox back then? Oh, by the way, somebody pointed out, yes, Frida. Frida obviously is uh, Heinrich's daughter, if you haven't realized that. <laughs> but uh, unlike her father, she likes to uh, take things from a long range and not get up close and personal because she's our sniper. Uh, Monique got pretty badly wounded, so that's a bit of an issue. But yeah, there we go. Pretel Mox. Mox, also known as Mox. Can't, can't accuse them of being creative. So he's our skirmisher. Okay. So we got him back. So he can... Uh, you can keep keep bickering with Elena. All right. So that out of no, that's not what it wants. What's what does it want me to see? Game. What do you want me to look at? Um, oh, I think someone's got a got someone's got a promotion. Probably uh, young William here. Uh, looks like does he? Oh, okay. Yes. So he is a specialist. Okay. Uh, so we've got a, we've got another specialist. How many specialists do we have by now? Because I need to sort of let's sort that by class. So we've got um, oh we've got we've got two grenadiers who are both in sick bay. That's not good. <laughs> uh, also, Julie really should have been Canadian for being called Moose here. I mean, honestly, game. Uh, we've got two rangers. We've got a reaper. We've got plenty of rookies, uh, and uh, we've got s two snipers, we've got the skirmisher. Yeah, so Lauren, Lauren was a hacker, right? Yes, so William here is going to be, uh, is going to probably then be uh, a medic. So we're going to get him set up that way. Now this, I'm just going to have to try and remember that. Um, I don't know what the game's... Uh, okay, and we've got another one, promotion, Ella. Hey, and we've okay. We've got another grenadier. Good, good, because the other two are in sick bay. <laughs> so uh, Ella Renard is she French? Uh, Belgian. Okay, yeah, that counts. Uh, honorary French. <laughs> so we've got we've got ourselves another uh, another grenadier. Good, good, good. And now the thing goes away. Okay, so game is happy with me. Uh, we are. Tra we've got two more. Two more things under construction. We've got the lab and the resistance ring, because of course, the moment I decide that I don't really need the uh, the sick bay right now, everybody gets injured. <laughs> but um, we also have to. This is the headquarters of the skirmisher faction. They may look like Advent, but they sure don't act like it. Now that we've established contact, we can scan at this location to gain additional support for our cause. You know them as they were, the soldiers of Advent. Now they are free to choose. If you stay your course, Commander, they will stand with you until the end. Commander, I believe it is time that we meet. I am Betos, first of the freed Advent. You are safe here. Praetor Mox was new to our cause, but he believed. In our people's freedom. In this alliance. In you, Commander. I shall do the same. My skirmishers stand ready, should you need them. 
May our people stand united until the false gods fall. Okay. Uh, so we've made contact with two factions by now. The Reapers and the Skirmishers. Okay. If there are orders you would have us follow, Commander, tell us what must be done. And um, we get resistance order. Uh, information war. Tech defense of all enemies and hack targets is lowered by 20. Okay, gotcha. Uh, or modular construction. Facility construction speed is increased. I think that actually sounds more useful. If it was your intention to aggravate me further by seeking the aid of those traitorous dogs, then you have succeeded. Okay, so, um, yeah, ignore the assassin. They're all very talkative, I'm starting to get the impression. So, uh, if we're if we're sitting on a skirmisher HQ, we're building faster. Now, that would be a great thing, but um, the problem is uh, we still have to make contact with West Asia. And uh, what what day is it actually? It's March twenty eighth, so we're much not going to manage that until the end of the month, which is a little unfortunate because we could have used their supplies. But um, I'm thinking to get that done first. They complete that and then um, and then go after the encrypted signal and then go after East Asia. So, uh, I mean, I could do with the increased build speed, but uh, we've got so many things to do. We can't just be sitting around. So, um, I am going to head over there. Setting course for Sector 15, West Asia. Commander, we have a priority message coming through. It looks like an encoded signal from the Resistance. Patching it through to your quarters now. Hello, Commander. It would seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. We're tracking the aliens' progress on this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. Oh great, as if we didn't have enough things to do. So now, the aliens have a secret project thing going on, where they are apparently, well, trying to kill us all, I guess. <laughs> Oh, what else is new, honestly? Okay. Um. Sheesh. Okay, so that actually made progress. But hang on, Central. You just told me that you didn't know where it is. You do know where it is. It's right here. It's in the middle of the Pacific. <laughs> it's like right there. Can, can, can we fly there and just destroy it? Is that what this is? What is this? The aliens have dedicated an immense amount of time and resources to this project, Commander. If successful, it will mean the end of human civilization. Yes, okay, so we know where it is, but we don't know where it is. Go, oh, gotcha game. Uh, Alright, so I'm, I'm assuming that's the end game. 
so the sort of temple ship thing. For now, um, Commander will need to completely scan this region before we can establish contact yeah, with the I local know. resistance. I'd advise we stick around and finish the job, but the choice is. No, I wasn't trying to go somewhere else. I was just zooming around here. <laughs> okay, so um, same plan as before. We're gonna finish making contact, then we're gonna head over to this encrypted signal, trying to figure out what the heck's going on over there, and uh, then we head down to East Asia and see what we can do over yonder. I'm gonna need more weapons, am I? Uh, okay, a new target for our guerrilla operations. Okay, I, I'm really not going to get that finished, right? Uh, it counters the dark event. Um, man! Eesh. Recover item from Advent Facility. Easy difficulty. 78 intel. I just want to finish the darn <laughs> contract thing, okay, game? <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm, I mean it's it's useful, I guess. Uh, okay, confirm it. Setting course for the Arctic. Can, can I ignore these? No, I'm, I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Uh, after this mission, we're gonna finish making contact. Whatever else comes up, I don't care what it is. And if the sky falls on our heads, my goodness. Um. Okay, we're not gonna bring um, we're not gonna bring Elena this time around because um, she's down to eighty percent, and uh, so is Kasumi. So we're gonna be replacing a couple of people here, uh, and also it said it was an easy mission, so we're not gonna bring her around. Um, actually, yeah, let's just remove her. We're not gonna bring uh, Lauren because she is Elena's best buddy. And we're not going to bring Kasumi. Okay, that leaves us with currently with uh, Greta and Frida. So we've got two snipers. Uh, I do want to bring. Who do we have ready? Um, Jane is still tired. Do I have another ranger? Uh, well, Kasumi is my other ranger. I need more rangers. Uh, we're gonna bring Mox because we just liberated them, so he can, he can make himself useful. And who else are we gonna bring? Uh, it would have been nice to bring a ranger and have another one. Uh, we can bring some of the rookies because we've got plenty of those. We bring Dieter because we just recruited Dieter. <laughs> he can make himself useful. And um, maybe our medic so we can train him up. Where was he? Uh, yeah, uh, William, you come along. Okay, so we've got uh, Mox, Mox being himself, we've bring, we're bringing Dita, Greta, William and Frida. Okay, sounds good, let's go. And after that we'll finish making contact, because um, I, I generally like finishing the economy up early, but it's, it's just, it keeps interrupting me, the game. It really just keeps interrupting me, and I don't know if these missions go away, if I don't take them on immediately. If I ignore them, do they just go away and I can't do them and then I'll have something bad happening? I don't know. We've traced the location of an advent data vault through their network to a facility situated in this region. As far as we can tell, it's storing data critical to the aliens' latest operation. We're moving in to seize control of the assets, but security forces in the area won't make it easy on us. Eliminate all targets and capture whatever you can. I do realize that it would have been nicely nice to bring a hacker along, but um, <laughs> you know, people are tiring out, and this is an easy mission. I might need them for something more important. All right, let's go. Menace 1 5. We've got a bead on the Advent Data Vault near your position. Be advised. Self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Oh, great. So they know we're coming. And uh, Elena would have been really useful here, but they know we're coming uh, and it's going to self destruct. Oh, well. Okay. So, 
where are we? We are on, it looks like a massive parking lot. Uh, the objective is, where was it? Uh, the objective is over that way. Uh, nobody's in cover, but we are concealed. So that's a good start. I do realize that I forgot to bring all our equipment. <laughs> it's It's been two weeks, right? <laughs> I haven't played this in a moment, so um, bear with me here. Okay, uh, let's get Mox out to scout. Can he grapple anywhere? The problem is I don't know where the enemy troops are. I could get him to grapple up there, but uh, we don't know if that's going to be... Uh, there might be one standing somewhere somewhere on the, on the other side of the parking lot seeing him, so up top is probably not a great idea. Okay, we're going to get him... We're going to get him into position here or here. Uh, maybe... Uh, maybe there. Objective is that way, so probably the opposition is going to come from that direction. Okay, let's move him over there. Oh, okay, there we go. Enemy patrol sighted, but we don't have a good we don't have a good shot from here. He could get topside, but I don't know if there are any more of them. So we're gonna have to start moving carefully here. Uh, it's not a lot of there's not an awful lot of good cover around here. So let's get our snipers into position. Um, how many of them are there? Uh, is it just one? It might just be one. It might just be this one guy. So I might be able to just take him out with a sniper shot from here. It is quite risky, because I don't know if there are any more of them. Uh, and I don't really have anybody in Overwatch. Okay, I could set up a couple of people in Overwatch and then start shooting from the sni with the snipers from the rear. So, William. Uh, that is cover, yes. Okay, I'm going to move you over there. Affirmative, moving out. And oh no, there's two of them. Okay, so there is two. There are two, but they are just foot soldiers. Still, he doesn't have the greatest of shots. The problem is obviously um, they will go into cover, and if my snipers are standing out in the open, <laughs> they are not going to be in a good place. Um, yeah, how am I going to do this? Or I might just take the first round to just get everybody into position. Um, don't know if they're going to move. I could just leave everybody in Overwatch, and if they're moving, then uh, then take the shots. I guess that might work as well. Or or if they're not, then we have a better chance next turn. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Okay. So um, uh, Greta, Greta, you go over there and see if we can get a shot from that direction. I just want her to be in cover. Okay, it's actually a worse position, but um, uh, Dita. Dita, where can we bring you? There's really no cover in this place. Um, okay. I don't know if we're going to be hit from the other side as well. And we only have seven turns until the container blows up. So um, I might just bring him... I could get him into a more aggressive position. That means I can't put him into Overwatch. And it's not going to trigger them, but they might see him if they're moving. I don't know if they're patrolling or not. I don't have time to do this properly. So, okay, Dita. Mm. I'm not sure. All right, uh, Greta stays in Overwatch with her pistol. Pistol Overwatch. Uh, we're not going to try and trigger them. We're going to try and ambush them such that I have better positions next turn. Uh, who else do I have? Um, I still have Frida. I could just pull her back a little bit and just have her do the rear because there's no other cover around. So maybe I'll just pull her back to this position. It's a bit further, but she is a sniper. So uh, this should be okay. Yeah, I'm just going to pull her back here. I just want her to be in cover. Okay. And um, then we'll leave her on pistol overwatch. We'll leave Mox on overwatch. And Dita needs to move somewhere, and I don't have a position for him to go. Um, okay, I'm just gonna move him... I could move him aggressively up to that tree here, but then if they are patrolling, they might see him, and he doesn't have an overwatch shot. Whereas if I move him to that tree, he's too far away to do anything useful, but if they're patrolling, he m they might be closer. Okay, that tree it is. Yeah, Ziel position, and then... Overwatch, and that leaves me with William. 
and William will stay on Overwatch as well. And we'll see what they're doing. If they're just staying there, okay, they are patrolling. Okay. Uh, that means we are yeah, and we're running out of time here, so we don't have time to faff around. Um, I could leave someone in Overwatch in case they are mo because they're going to move, right? So where are they going to move? If we, if we start sh take one out from here with a sniper rifle, the other one is probably going to move in cover. So um, uh, William might have a flanking shot, so I'm going to leave William in Overwatch, and then I'm going to use um, Frida to uh, Frida, Frida or Greta? Mm. Let's let's start with Greta. Greta will will fire. I know there's only one in Overwatch, but I don't, I don't trust our Overwatch chances at the moment. So um, she'll take one out, hopefully. That's one down. That means the other one is is gonna know that we're here. Target neutralized. They spotted us. And he is gonna move. But where is he going to move? He is going to move, and William gets an overwatch shot. And actually takes him out. Nicely done. Okay. That means we can push forward now, can we? Uh, okay, perfect. So, Mox, uh, you go first. <laughs> Mox can get still up top of that thing. Okay, there's the building. So it's not actually that far away. Uh, we, could, we could push through this parking lot here. This looks like a decent location with at least some cover. Where's the entrance to that building? Uh, that's that's the entrance, right? But I mean, it has windows. We can potentially get th get in through the windows. So let's let's uh, let's move Mox over here. That's full cover. And uh, see if he can spot anything from over there. He still has one move left in case... Okay, we actually know that we clear that way, so he could also move here. Because we don't really know yet... Eh. No, I, I want to go around... I want to go around the side, honestly. Okay, Mox, move over there. I will go. And he's got nothing in sight. Uh, can he grapple anywhere? Just on top of the bus stop. I don't want him to be on top of the bus stop. Okay. So we'll leave him in Overwatch from there. Watch order confirmed. We've got six turns left. That is actually not a terrible, terrible amount. Um, we we'll leave him in Overwatch there. Can we get Dita in position? Um, we can get Dita in position, sort of just right behind him. And uh, that's probably what we're going to do. Okay. And then Frida obviously needs to push up as well. Um, I'm gonna get her behind here. So that is a decent position to cover things. Or she could start coming around this way. We don't know if there's. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in the in this in this area. So I think we're safe to just go here. On updates. Okay. Alien turn. We got five turns left. All right. Uh, Mox. Um, Mox needs to... I think Mox is the one, given his mobility, it's probably the one I want to use pushing forward. Five turns. Um, question is, can he actually disarm this thing? Does it need a hacking skill to disarm? What is this? Or do we just need to grab a thing and then get out of there? Okay, I don't know. Let's move here first and see if he can spot anything. As you order. Okay, we have eyes on... Okay, they're up on the roof, so we've got a sectoid up top. Not anymore, they're coming down to us. Okay, that's that's advantageous. And we've got... Um, okay. We have a sectoid and we have whatever that is. Uh, stun Lancer, maybe? Could be. Alright, how are we going to play this? Um... Okay, we'll start just opening up. Frida just has the sector to shoot at, so we'll just start with the snipers from back here. That's a crit, and is that a dead, dead sector, or is he down to one hit point? Uh, yeah, he's, that's a de dead sector. Nice. Cool. Um, how about uh, Greta? Greta has a chance with the sniper rifle, but it's not great. 
Um, I could start pulling her a bit forward. How about, but, but let's wait. Uh, Dieter, can you do anything useful from over there? Uh, he could push up here. But of course he'd be super exposed if this guy comes out. He could push, this is all half cover. Um, he could push over there, but I don't think he'd have a shot from over there. Oh yes, he would. So that might not be a bad position. So let's move Dieter over there. That's full cover, and he has a shot from there. Um, can we just grenade this guy? Uh, no, he's standing right next to the objective, and we're literally trying to not blow the objective up. So, um, yeah, it's a stun lancer. Oh, I'm not sure what's happening there, but he's teabugging. Okay. Nice, that's four damage on him. Good job, Dieter. <laughs> Uh, William. William cannot really get um, cannot get anywhere where he would have a shot. But I can leave him on Overwatch just in case the stun lancer de uh, Dito is still teabugging. In case the stun lancer decides that he wants to come out. Okay, William. Pausing on target position now. Move over there. He doesn't have a shot from there, but I can leave him on Overwatch. Overwatch. That leaves me with Mox, who can't get any closer. Uh, could he do the justice thing on this guy? Uh, he could try. It's a 73% chance to just grapple this guy, pull him over here and kill him. Yeah, let's try that. Accept your fate. <laughs> and then, boink. Nice. Well done, Mox. Okay. Yep. And he got some loot. Okay. I need to look into these weapon mods. I was just thinking of getting at least the level 2 Article weapons, secure. because the level 1 weapons are generally dreadful. Um, and uh, Greta, Greta is going... I don't know if they're going to... I'm going to push pull up... Uh, I'm going to push up with Greta next to Mox, because... Go, go, go. Uh, I don't know if they're going to come... Um, if they're going to come in once we've, cap once, once we've captured that whatever item that was that they wanted. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, we've got four turns left, so let's let's once again push up with Mox and see if he can spot anything. So four turns is a good time. Um, pretty sure that's the edge of the map, so there's not, not there's nothing going to come this way. So I might as well just move him up here. A ten and we have nothing else spotted. Can he grapple? He could grapple up top. He does have sniper cover. And that would, but that would, I still have one move. Yeah, it's a bit too aggressive, I think. Okay, let's get everybody else set up. Uh, Greta is gonna stay here and doing sniper overwatch. Uh, Dieter. Dieter can push forward. That's a cover position. So Dieter push forward. So you stop teabugging things. Oh yeah, there's another one. Oh, it's a turret. That's bad. <laughs> Good that I didn't pull Mox up there. Because it's a darn turret. Oh, this could be bad. Okay. Um, Frida. Frida is going to have to start shooting at the turret. Can she take him out? I'm not sure. It's a 55% chance, but uh, we're going to take the chance. Oh, nice. It was a critical. So it's it lost its two armor. Okay, so it, it has armor. That's what these yellow dots are, but it's down to one hit point. Okay. Uh, Dieter, can you finish that thing off? That would be lovely. Actually, Dieter, do you have a frag grenade? Yes, you do. Um, can you f can you throw it that far? No, you can't. Okay. Uh, so in that case, just shoot it. 66% chance. Come on, kill it. <laughs> uh, William. Yeah, ne next time you hit him. Okay, William. Um, get over there. I don't think he will have a shot from there, honestly. William is just too far behind. Uh, I can get him into Dita's teabag position, but I'm not sure if he has a shot from there either. Okay, William, move over here. Good copy. Moving on target. And yeah, he doesn't have a shot. So what I can do is I can use the aid protocol on... Uh, okay, let's hold hold off on that. We've still got Mox. Mox, uh, Mox doesn't have a shot. I could grapple Mox up here and get him to kill that thing from there. Um, it's it's hugely risky though because if there's anything else in here 
then he might be mighty exposed. The problem is I don't really want to lose anyone from that stupid turret, because these things hurt. And it's down to one hit point. Okay. Uh, William could put... Okay, I'm going to hold off with William. Mox. Could you... Could you grenade that thing? Um, no. You cannot grenade that thing. <sighs> Dita, why did you have to miss? Um... So if I pull Mox up here onto that balcony, like on that level sort of, so he could go up here, but he would be completely exposed. So if there's anything else around here, like another turret or something, he'd be screwed. Like if there's another turret up top that thing or something. Alternatively, what I could do is, um, I mean Dita is the most exposed here, so I could give, uh, I could get William to put the aid protocol on Dita because he's only in half cover, such that he can uh, hopefully dodge the shot from that turret. Because the turret is on high ground, so uh, that is all very unfortunate. Um, yeah, he's got only got five hit points, so... <laughs> uh, so what does, what does exactly, what does that do? Uh, plus 20 defense for a turn. Uh, and I would give that now to... Uh, to, where is he? To detail. Yeah, I don't want to risk Mox uh, going up there too, this aggressively. There might be another turret up there. We're doing that. Okay. That should give him, hopefully, a bit better chance to not get killed by that turret next turn. And um, we're going to leave Mox on Overwatch in case somebody else comes out. Attacking on sight. What's the turret going to do? It's going to shoot at Dita, right? No, it's going to shoot at Mox. No, it's shooting at Dieter, but it missed. Okay, so that worked out. See here on the Beschuss? Menace 1 5, the clock is ticking. That detonator isn't going to wait. Get to the vault and disarm it before we run out of time. Yeah, yeah, Central, I know. There's a turret. Um, uh, Greta, can you take out the turret? Turret is dead. Nicely done. I need some armor piercing weapons or something. Okay, um, Mox, Mox gets three turns. Uh, Mox get up here. Moving. Nothing else spotted. Uh, three turns. Dita, get up to this position and see if there's anything else that we need that needs shooting around here. Okay, three turns. Um, we should be able to almost get there in three turns. The problem is. Okay, I'm not liking this. We're not having an awful lot of time and there might still be something inside the facility. There's also some red thing like laser guards on the windows. I'm not sure if we can actually get in there. Okay, uh, Dieter is standing there. So Mox, can you go? No, he can't get anywhere in a position where he can actually look through the window. Okay, Dieter. Dieter, move up here and take a peek through the window if you can to see if there's anything inside that needs killing. Okay, there's the thing. This is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Okay, so nothing in there. So I'm gonna move Mox up as well. Because we only have three turns left. <laughs> okay. That means they are out of actions. Um, William, you need to pull up further to give fire support. Moving to designated position. And then we're gonna leave you on Overwatch. I don't know if we need to exfil him here. Um, not sure about that. So I'm going to start at least getting my snipers into a common firing line here. So I'm gonna move you up. Frida moved up. And it's alien activity time. Okay, nothing happened. Alright. Um, Mox. Uh, oh. Really? Can we, we can't go through the window? Ah, uh, dang! I thought... Okay. Dita can... No. He has to go through the top and drop in... Oh, oh. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Um, okay. I am going to go with that... <sighs> Sheesh! I thought, I thought we'd be able to go through the windows. Okay, we're not. We actually have to go through the roof and drop in through the top window. But we have looked through the window and I don't think there's anything in there. 
So I'm gonna have to risk it because we are running out of turns. We only have two turns left. So Dieter, move in there. And let's hope that there's nothing in there. Okay, we seem to be in the clear. So I'm gonna move Dieter up here to acquire the thing. And we'll get everybody else into and get everybody else lined up in support positions in case anything shows its face. And you an overwatch. Uh, I'm gonna get you to reload. And then go into overwatch. Oh no, you can't, no? You can only do pistol overwatch. Okay, pistol overwatch. Um, I'm gonna get Mox. I can't, Mox can't go in there. Um, okay, I'm just gonna position Mox at the window in case anything pops out if if it happens. I go. Okay. I leave you in Overwatch. I will not waver. And I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna get you to reload as well. Reload. Okay. Got one turn left, Dita. You have to disarm that thing. I hope that doesn't require any hacking skill. Oh, okay. Sorry, she can still go and pistol Overwatch. Come get some. Oh, he needs to hack to it. That is unfortunate. <laughs> um, okay, there's a there's a hundred percent chance to disarm. So I mean, he's terrible at hacking, but um, uh, we might get him better at hacking. <laughs> uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a five percent chance, and no, no, on fail, no effect. So. Uh, let's just begin. Nah, we didn't get that, but we unlocked it, disarmed the detonator. Well done, Dieter. Okay. That's done. And now what? Do we just need to pick it up? Uh, chemical composition report. Okay, that's the thing we wanted. Menace 1 5, status confirmed. The charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. Uh, okay, so there are remaining hostiles. Okay. And we need to find them and eliminate them. Where are they going to be? I mean, they're not going to be back here, right? This is where we started. This is actually a relatively small map. Uh, they have to be in one of the other buildings. So, um, Dieter is has only one action left, so I'm going to leave him on overwatch. And then we're going to go and scout and see if we can find out where the rest of them are. Um, they're probably inside the door or something. So we're going to get William positioned here. I mean, now I'm not in a timer anymore, so I'm not in a rush. So I'm going to leave you on overwatch. Um, I'm going to start pulling my snipers uh, this is not a good position because she doesn't... I, I suspect that they are out, out this way because that's the only area we haven't scouted yet. Someone's got to be in this other room there. So I'm going to get... I'm going to get Frida pulled up this way. And then leave... And then... Um, actually... And they're not out here, right? Because we've, we've, we've had vision on that for a while. So... No, I'm just going to leave her here. It's not a bad position. Uh, Mox, get over there. I will go. And we'll leave him in Overwatch. I just want to exfiltrate Dieter from this building before we, we do anything else. And uh, I'm actually going to leave Greta a little bit further back, just in case they're coming from the other side. Anyway, she's on snipe, so... She should be fine to hit them from long range. Okay, where are they? Are they going to move? No, they're not going to move. Okay. Uh, which means Dita. Is this a door? Or is this a... No, he, yeah, he can go through here. Um, unfortunately, if he goes through there, I'm not sure we have fire support. But uh, it's cover. So I can pull him over here. And we have nothing spotted. So they're not in that room either. Where are they? Are they out in the rear still? Oh, there's, is there still more? No, that's the end of the map on the rear. Uh, where is the remaining opposition, honestly? I am I am unsure of. Okay, Mox. Uh, can we... Can you take a look through the window? See if you can spot anybody. 
No, it's nobody in there. Where are they all? It's got like be one patrol left or something. Um, I mean, Dieter's got the thing, so he actually needs to to exfil sort of. Uh, William, um, can you look through that window? See if you can see anything. Understood. Moving out. Nope. Nothing spotted. Overwatch. Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave you on Overwatch. Speed of fire shots. I'm gonna leave everybody on Overwatch. Maybe they're making no a move at some point. I'm gonna leave you on Overwatch. Overwatch. And I'm gonna leave you on Overwatch. Speed of fire shots. Oh, that's where they are. Oh, then the I other side. That is a bit unfortunate. Okay, that's five damage on the sectoid. And they're breaching. Okay. And of course, Dieter is outflanked now, which is bad. So Dieter needs to move, first of all. <laughs> uh, that's full cover. So move over there. Uh, sorry, the game just crashed. So uh, I need to see where we left uh, where we left here. Okay, so we're left in this place. Um, all right, so what, what did I do last round? <laughs> Yeah, Dita needs to move here because he is he is outflanked, and then he can use a grenade to finish off the uh, sectoid. Uh, yep, that's one, and that's a dead sectoid. Nice. All right, uh, what else did we have? There was a turret up here. Did we spot that already, or was that before the game crashed? <laughs> I can't remember. Um, I think there was another turret up there, but we may have not seen that yet. Okay, uh, I was pulling William up here. So move him there. Okay, uh, and he then spotted spots the turret up top, yes. Okay. So he's got a turret, and, uh, and he's got a... just a foot soldier. But I think he wasn't able to throw a grenade around the corner that could hit him. Yes. He's, so he's incapable of doing that. Okay, that's where where, where I was. All right, Mox. Mox, you're not helping anyone over there. But um, the problem, obviously, is the turret up there. So let's check my snipers. Um, Greta doesn't have a shot at anybody, so she needs to reposition. So I'm going to get her to move over here. She still doesn't have a shot at anyone, but she can stay in pistol overwatch, I guess, for now. Scanning. And Frida does have a shot, but it's not a great one at the um, at the soldier. I'm not sure where, what's what's the what the arc of that turret up there is. That turret there worries me up top, because these things hurt. So that turret may be able to hit her from up there. So I'm thinking that she needs to move into better cover as well. Uh, that's only half cover. And she wouldn't have a shot from there. She could move up here, but that's also only half cover and her shot isn't great. Um, okay. Mox, what can we do with you? Um, can we get him into a position? There might be more turrets up top there. So we could get him in... Uh, I don't want to pull him up on top because he might be getting himself in trouble there. Uh, this should not be a. F this turret should not have a firing angle. What, what, what's the firing angle from this turret? What does it see? Um, I'm not. Sh it sees mocks. It might see my snipers as well. So, uh, yeah, I definitely want to want to move Frida away from here because that is not a good spot for her to be. Because uh, I think that turret has shots on her, so... Although she doesn't have shots on the turret. So I'm not sure. I'll pull her here, that she's at least out. I mean, she may be able to have a pistol shot at uh, at the guy through the window. And she's out of the firing line, potentially, of the turret. She does, but it's not a great chance. Well, we'll take it anyway. Let's see if we can take him out. Nice! Yep. <laughs> Threat Status neutralized. Confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Oh, that was it. The turret didn't count. Oh, and that was the only thing left. Okay, cool. 
flawless victory. <laughs> nice one. Okay, we've done it. Dita has proven himself to be useful. Let me put it and that despite way. Despite the destruction left in their wake, XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful to the Elders for their support in ending this menace once and for all. And we have a new record of coverage, cover bonus, okay. And we've got an 85% hit chance, like hit rate. That's pretty good, actually, uh, if I say so myself. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not shooting here. Still quite proud of my people. So who got who who gets a promotion? Dita should get one. The elders false vision. That is the purpose of all skirmishers. Until it is done, there can be no other path for us. My gosh, they are all waxing philosophy here. <laughs> and uh, being being very elaborate about uh, ex expositioning their their motives. Yet we believe you. You don't need to tell us that every time. Okay, Mox has uh, has earned himself a promotion. So, okay, now this is interesting. He has three class, three subclasses. Hussar, Judge, and Tactician. Um, let's see what, let's see what these, I don't know what the skills are, but let's see what these are. Um, hang on, acquire cost 10, 10 what? Also there's Soldier AP and XCOM AP. So somebody mentioned that a while ago, I think two videos ago, that there's actually a like an, a free XP sort of system, that uh, might be might be something we could do. Anyway, um, what can he get? Uh, gain one extra action on the next turn if he's being shot at. Triggers once per mission only. Um, he, he gets an extra action next turn. Okay. Uh, what's what is total combat? Uh, he he can he gets a free grenade throw. Um, it's both not bad, honestly. I guess. I mean, I'd, I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to get him shot at, if possible. So maybe I'll take the free grenade throw. Uh, I don't know what's what, what's down these these skill trees. So um, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we 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 don't actually know what uh, what he's gonna get. But um, I'm I'm also not sure if these are subclasses, like he's locked into one. Or if he's going to be able to to you know pick and match, which I think they were able to pick and match on the regular one. So I assume that this is also the, the, the case here. Um, this sounds a little bit. It only once works once per mission. That's kind of what I'm. I'm not super stoked about. Whereas this, well, he can only carry one grenade, right? And there might be he might be able to carry more grenades later on. So uh, if we get something like the tactical rigging from the first game, uh, I'll take this one. Uh, yes. Okay. So that's done. Right? Okay, so he's done. Um, and Dita is now uh, a ranger. Okay, so he's continuing the proud tradition of Heinrich to hit people at close range. <laughs> Attack, get them closer, I want to hit them with my sword. Nice. So he's been promoted. Um, Corporal Sharpshooter here, uh, Greta, has been promoted. What does she get? Uh, dead Eye. <laughs> dead Eye skill. Uh, take a shot with a small aim penalty for a signif significant damage boost. Reduces the hit chance by 25%. That's not small, but in in instead you get 50% um, extra damage. Okay, that's a, that's a good one. Or Lightning Hands. Uh, fire your pistol at a target. This attack does not cost an action. Oh, and a three-turn cooldown. So she get she can have a free pistol shot um, at times, or she can like do do uh, two pistol. She could do a pistol shot and then do a um, then do a rifle shot as well. I like that. Uh, I don't like the twenty-five percent uh, targeting debuff on the other one. That sounds like. Uh, I'm thinking that down the range in the game we're going to get enemies who are much much harder to hit. So um, like, like the the mutants in the first game. So mm, like the fifty percent damage bonus it would be great if it was guaranteed, but um, 
No, I think Lightning Hands is nice. I'm gonna go with that. Uh, yes. And yeah, we are definitely seeming to go down the route of Gunslinger for for her. Uh, and we also have uh, Frida on the other side. So uh, she can do the... Uh, this is the automatic return fire with the pistol. Uh, I'm thinking of actually getting... Maybe getting two, two, two setups such that um, one of them is a bit more of a long range specialist and the other one is uh, is more of the aggressive gunslinger. So we're going to set Frida up as the as the long range subclass and we're going to give her the long watch. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try it. So let, let's see how this goes. Uh, okay. And we've got uh, lots of stuff. And corpses. <laughs> okay. Good, good stuff. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. Well, you should be used to that by now. I mean, we've been working together before, mister. Uh, anyway. So, next turn, we will finally make contact with Western Asia. And nothing that, ex that uh, the aliens are bringing up is going to distract me from that, because I bloody well need to get that done. So, uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.